in order to perform the time reversal of a signal, the samples are organized in the backwards or opposite order. In other words, the last sample becomes the first sample, and the first sample becomes the last sample. This is all done using array indexing. Let's take a closer look at how to perform the time reversal of a signal. Here are the steps that you can use within MATLAB to import a sound file and perform a time reversal. As an example, let's say I've got a sound file called Acoustic Guitar. I've got saved out on my computer's hard drive. I'm going to use the audio read function to import it to MATLAB. Now, I'm going to plot the sound file so I can look at it. All right, let's also listen to it. In order to perform the time reversal, what I'm going to do is index the array to take the samples or the elements and put them back in the opposite order or in a backwards order. This is done by indexing the array sound file. What I'm going to do is index it by starting at the end and going in reverse order down by minus one each time until we get to the first sample. What I'll do is assign this to a new signal. Call this one sound file reverse. So I'll create this new array. We can plot it. See that the signal it appears like it's going in the opposite order. Then also listen to it. So this is how you can perform a signal time reversal by indexing the array.